Why Your Tools Can't Unlock Toyota's 4A Smart Key, The Shocking Truth. Before we begin, here's a quick copyright disclaimer. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. Everything shown and discussed is intended to help vehicle technicians, car enthusiasts, and learners understand automotive diagnostics and programming better. We follow fair use principles by using images, clips, and references solely for education and review. No copyrighted material is used for commercial gain. All brand names and trademarks belong to their respective owners. Always follow the manufacturer's guidelines and your local laws when working on vehicles. Now, let me grab your attention with a simple but powerful question. Is it possible to unlock a Toyota Corolla Cross 2023 model for a smart key using your favorite tools like Zorse, Autel, or Lonster? Sounds easy, right? But are you sure the answer? If you think you know, pause right now, scroll down to the comments, and tell me what you believe the correct answer is. Then keep watching to find out if you're right. The truth might surprise you. Welcome back to Bob G Motors, your trusted pit stop for everything automobile diagnostics, secrets, and hands-on learning. If you're here for the first time, you're in for a ride. If you've been watching but haven't subscribed yet, why hold back? Your one-click fuels this journey and keeps the channel alive. So, smash that subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications, and stick around till the end. I promise you'll leave smarter than you arrived. Let's set ourselves a little challenge here. Can we hit 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments in the first 24 hours? If this video teaches you even one new thing today, hit that like button, drop a comment, and if you really want to go above and beyond, consider leaving a super thanks to support Bob G Motors. Let's get rolling. So you got a shiny Toyota Corolla Cross or Camry, and you're staring at that sleek little 4A smart key, thinking, how hard can it be to unlock this? You fire up your trusted tools, Zorse, Autel, Lonster, tools that have never failed you before. You plug in, you go through the motions, but nothing. Why? Here's the inside scoop. You cannot unlock it, period. All these ID4 A smart keys are locked from the factory, and none of the usual suspects, Zorse, Autel, or Lonsder, can help you here. In fact, the ID4 A smart key is a whole different beast compared to the 8A. While you might have breezed through unlocking an 8A before, the 4A isn't playing that game. Here's why. The Corolla, Corolla Cross, and the new Camry's 4A chip is a HITAG 3 with AES encryption. That means it belongs to a completely different family from the older 8A chips. The encryption is much stronger, and most cloners can't even wake it up, meaning they don't detect the transponder at all. Let me explain this in simpler terms for you. Imagine trying to pick a lock on a vault, but you're using a skeleton key that only works on old doors. That's what happens when you use Zorse, Autel, or Lonsder on the 4A. You'll get no response. You're essentially knocking on a door that will never open. Even tools like the VVDI Mini Key Tool, which works beautifully on many Toyota Smart Keys, will let you go into its special functions, select Toyota Smart Key Unlock, insert the key into the coil, and, with a bit of patience and multiple tries, it'll unlock an 8A Smart Key, but not the 4A. And here's where it gets even more interesting. The 4A Smart Key doesn't actually need to be unlocked at all, at least not in all scenarios. If you're adding a key, meaning you already have at least one working key, you can simply program the 4A to another vehicle directly. It doesn't seem to lock itself the way older keys did. But, and this is a big but, if all keys are lost, that's when you're in tricky territory. You can't just unlock and reprogram a used key like before. Instead, you have to simulate the key using a KD, Key DIY, Lonsder, or Tango emulator. You program the emulator first, then write the data to the used key. Pro tip, even if you're just adding a key, it's always better to back up your data and run the process as though all keys are lost. This bypasses the need for the immobilizer code and saves you headaches later. So what about the mystical MK tool you may have heard about? Yes, that's currently the only known tool capable of unlocking a 4A smart key. But unless you've got access to one, and they aren't exactly common, you'll need to rely on emulators and proper backup techniques instead. Take a moment to reflect on this. How many times have you banged your head against a problem just because you assumed your favorite tool could handle it? Post your stories in the comments. 
I'd love to hear them. Here's a little mid-video reminder. If you're learning something today, if your eyes are widening as you realize why your tools weren't working on that stubborn 4A key, please smash that like button now. Help us hit our goal of 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss gems like this again. Every click really does help keep this channel alive. Before we wrap up, let me also share my own take on this topic. Personally, I think Toyota has been very smart with the 4A, creating a level of security that's genuinely impressive yet still manageable for professionals who know the right process. It forces us technicians to step up our knowledge and upgrade our tools. But what do you think? Is Toyota making things unnecessarily complicated, or is this kind of security absolutely essential in today's world? Let me know in the comments. I genuinely want to hear your opinions. And here's the answer to that question I asked at the start. Is it possible to unlock a Toyota Corolla Cross 2023 model for a smart key with Zorse, Autel, or Lonster? No, it's not. None of these tools can unlock a 4A smart key yet. The 4A is locked and encrypted at a level those tools simply can't handle. Only the MK tool can potentially do it. And even then, the better approach is to use emulators or work around unlocking entirely if possible. If you got that right, hats off to you. And if not, hey, that's why you're here, to learn something new every day. And finally, let me leave you with a fun fact. Did you know that the first car to use a smart key system was the Mercedes-Benz S-Class in 1998? And look how far we've come. From basic proximity keys to highly encrypted, virtually uncrackable systems like Toyota's 4A. So what's your take? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And while you're there, help us hit our 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments goal today. Like this video, share it with your fellow techs, subscribe to Bob G Motors if you haven't already, and if you truly value what we're bringing you, consider leaving a super thanks to show your support. Thank you so much for watching till the end. It really does mean the world to me. See you in the next one. And until then, happy diagnosing, my friends.